Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Alice Wolf Plays Hearts of Iron 4. Today is not going to be, uh, this is important of things to come. Uh, this is not going to be our Germany game, our Red Alarm Germany. Uh, that series is continuing by the way, uh, videos are being uploaded. But we are going to be doing something a little different this time around. It's like there, there they are. We are going to be doing uh, an Austro-Hungarian revival. A hey! so, what does that mean? Well, that means we're going to be playing as Hungary. Uh, I have done a few test games of this when this first came out, um, but uh, uh, that, that, uh, um. We're essentially going to be playing and restoring the German Empire. Please ignore the flickering. Um, I don't want... It's the, quit it. Cut it out. Stop. 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 Are we good? Is it flickering? No. It should go away. Stop. Blinking in and out of existence. You're terrifying the people. Alright, so, A! Uh, Austro-Hungarian Empire Revival uh, requires playing as Hungary. Uh, I thought that was a weird choice, but historically speaking, it's pretty accurate. Um, I'll just tell you a little bit of the history about that as I'm selecting forces here. Armor. Trickster. He's a field marshal. We'll do you. Get you over there. Alright, so, a uh, little history about the Austro-Hungarian Empire. Bloop. Do that. Uh, after its collapse, uh, Hungary repudiated and exiled uh, and banished the uh, last Austrian... Austro-Hungarian Emperor, uh, Charles, Charles, uh, I think he's St. Charles. Don't know, don't know his, uh, reg re uh regnal title, dealy but doodle. Um, but, uh, yeah, he was a pretty decent guy, honestly. But, uh, Hungary, even though they did not accept him as the, uh, also the, you know, king of Hungary, they did not exactly get... Uh, abolish the monarchy. So, there's this fun little detail in that uh, the Hungary in World War II was still technically a kingdom for a point. I, I'm not sure how long that lasted, but it was for uh, a little while, at least. Uh, we want close air support, even though we've got no rubber. And we're going to need artillery. But we're going to need... Ah, uh, bullocks. Let's get rid of those for now and re-add them. So yes, we are going to be restoring uh, the Austro-Hungarian Empire. And what's that going to take, you might add? Well, it's going to take a little bit of work. Right? So first off... We're the Kingdom of Hungary, and we're under a, a dictator. His name is Miklos Horthy. And Miklos Horthy was the historical leader of Austria-Hungary uh, Austria during this period in time. However, he was not king. He ruled as regent, and he was the former admiral of the... Uh... Well, that's actually not correct, because this is Hungary. Don't worry, that'll get renamed soon. Uh, color definitely needs to be changed, though. Uh, and so, Miklos Horthy was an admiral under, in the Austro-Hungarian Empire, and he kind of was, like, the pretty much the ranking dude who just kind of, like, took over. Uh, let's go ahead and just delete all of this, and all of these for now. And so, essentially, Miklos Horthy was just 
pretty much in charge. And he was large and in charge. And yeah, that's pretty much all I've got for you. All that I can think about in my brain place. Um, entrenchment speed, might as well. Excuse me, select it. I don't have the power for that. That's why. Sorry, brain's not working on 100% capacity right now. It's getting there. <laughs> uh, anyways, uh, this is, uh, what happened to Red Alarm Germany, you might be asking. Well, don't worry about that. Um, I had a bunch of videos saved up for Red Alarm Germany, and then the amount of work I started doing at work increased by quite a bit. Uh, I'm not going to go into huge details because it's really inconsequential because it's not like I'm making money on this YouTube channel anyways. But uh, essentially, I just could not dedicate any real like free time to what was going on. That being said, I, I am going to try and start putting a couple of hours... Uh, a week back into making some videos that way we can get um, you know everything everything back on track uh, to that end there were about three weeks of videos that I had made I just had not uploaded and formatted them to YouTube and those have been uploaded recently uh, starting in early May uh, should last until uh, late May at which point there will be more Red Alarm Germanys dealing with that particular issue. In the meantime, um, as much as I, I, I enjoy playing as, as Germany for once, uh, I do love playing uh, alternate historical things. And the new patch made it to where Greece can restore the Byzantine Empire. And so I got to thinking, you know, I'm essentially re recreating the, the Kaiserreich in a way, it's like a Kaiser Weimar Republic Reich. It's a Volksreich, uh, as I call it. Uh, there are other nations that can reform their former empires. Uh, Greece can do the Byzantine Empire. Uh, Manchukuo can do the Qing Empire, Chinese, uh, China. And uh, Hungary can do the... No, excuse you can do the Austro-Hungarian Empire, and that's exactly what we're going to be doing. Um, my goal is to get the Austro-Hungarian Empire rebuilt and back to its former glory. And that's going to include a little bit of doing, right? Uh, our first big problem is there's a lot of people... There, there's a certain other German nation that wants Austria for itself. For the idea of greater Austria, right? And in order to form Austro-Hungary, we need Austria. Uh, we're also going to have to conquer parts of Czechoslovakia, so we're going to have to deal with the fact that he wants the Sudetenland. That's going to be a problem. And we're going to have to conquer Yugoslavia, also going to be a problem. We're going to have to conquer parts of Italy, much more of a problem. Uh, and Romania, also a problem. Um, but to that end... Uh, there's there's only one real way that we can do this, and that is being the proper Habsburg monarchy, and that is what we're going to do. We are going to recreate the Austro-Hungarian Empire no matter what it takes. Uh, for now, I'm going to start doing a little secret program so we can be able to start, uh, you know, like, using our military, which would be nice. Um, I know I can break it eventually going down this path, but we're not going down economic intervention. We're going through. We're going to go through balanced budget, and we're going to invite the uh, have a the Habsburg prince back. Excuse me. Don't know why I clicked. Um, Otto von Habsburg. I don't know who Otto is historically. Um, all I know is Charles, who was the last Austro-Hungarian emperor for like a couple of months. Um, I would do the democratic. Or the fascist king. I mean, I could go fascist king and, like, go down this. But that's stupid, right? Because we're doing a restoration of the Austro-Hungarian uh, Austro Empire. So we're going to have to invite a Habsburg, and we're either going to demand a referendum or take Austria by force. I don't know about you guys, but taking it by force seems like it's going to work always. And I don't want to waste the time to fabricate a claim if they say no. So we're probably going to take it by force. We're, we're, we are going to be the aggressors in this plan and I think it's gonna work out fine so until next time uh,
let's see how this works out.